States, like tomato farmers in Florida, are literally closing up and moving their entire production operations to Mexico where the production regulations and restrictions do not match what's here in the United States. And now they want TPP along with Fast Track Authority. This is especially disturbing prospect since China has expressed an interest in joining the TPP. It isn't about fair trade. Farmers want good fair trade. It's about public safety and national security. And the question you have to ask is, do you trust having your food grown in China and relying on that? Um, the TPP threatens to harm local businesses, and we already don't have many jobs in the city of Newburgh as it is. This legislation will stunt growth in places that are similar to Newburgh and Newburgh We cannot itself. support anyone that backs this uh, legislation because it isn't economically sound. It doesn't help Newburgh, small businesses, job creation, workers, including low-wage workers and those looking for the limited jobs that are available are being hurt. Instead of benefiting the great masses of people in the United States and countries with which it trades, deals such as the North American Trade Agreement and the Permanent Normalization of Trade Relations Agreement with China de-emphasize workers' rights, human rights, environmental and democracy concerns, and clear the way for a race to the bottom. The TPP is going to vastly expand markets for U.S. produced natural gas, and this is going to drive up natural gas prices at home, straining the budgets of American work working families and small businesses who would be paying much more for electricity and increasing uh, The question today, how many corporate lobbyists does it take to screw over the American worker? And there's an actual answer to this. The answer is 600. 600 corporate lobbyists have been appointed as corporate trade advisors uh, on this deal. 600 corporate lobbyists have access to this deal, can see what it's about, and our Congress people don't. American people and their representatives don't have access to a deal that corporate lobbyists are writing for them. This is really simple for me. Somebody's going to have to tell me how this creates wealth for middle class families in the Hudson Valley. That's it. Tell me that, and I will support it. You show me the jobs that are going to be created here in the Hudson Valley because of this agreement, and then I'll, I'll talk to you about supporting it. That's real simple. It seems to me the burden ought to be on folks who have been engineering these agreements for 30 years while 60,000 manufacturing facilities have left the United States. While we have hollowed out our middle class, while we have made it harder than ever for working and middle class people to pay the taxes, get by, send the kids to school, plan for retirement before you're 80 years old, put some money away, take your wife to dinner once in a while, while everything has been getting harder for middle class families, we have been hearing for 20 or 30 years that these agreements are going to create wealth. Well, where is it? 